Hi, so here I am trying to use machine learning to help me record the stuff that I play on Tabla so I don't forget anything later. Just a quick review. Tabla is a classical North Indian percussive tonal instrument. It has two drums, Bayan, the bass one, and Dayan, the small one. There are many schools of tabla, um, tunings, strikes, performance styles vary a lot from one to another, but they all share five basic strikes and their combinations. So here they are. Ke, ge, na, te, and tum. Tabla is one of the most complicated percussive instruments on the planet. You could just take a look at some professional tabla players on YouTube and you'll get why. So even for experienced players deciphering what is going on is a hard task sometimes. You have to listen over and over again for for the piece to understand what's being played there. As you might have guessed already both hands can play simultaneously so we have two audio sources in the incoming signal that automatically makes it um, audio source separation task and it's not a linear algebra actually but still it was interesting how far could I get with um, not very complicated feature extraction combinations of dynamic time warping models and some post-processing to analyze the extracted transcription to remove the noise from it after quite some experiments, I found that instead of having two time warping models in parallel, one for each hand, with uh, lots of recognition analysis and denoising, it's way easier and efficient to take somewhat combinatoric approach and go with just one model, but trained with separate strikes and all possible elemental combinations of those. So overall, it's 11 gestures and it implies some pretty heavy restrictions on the amount of learning data. That is, I use only up to four examples per strike. My feature vector is 16 float values and uh, gesture length is around six feature vectors. Also, it's way more accurate to analyze audio on the fly in the feature extraction um, and then send run and stop commands to the DTW to analyze the gesture after it's complete. Still the results are very funny and I must play pretty slow for it to work, but hey that's uh, just a draft. So here I have um, audio analysis tool that comes with Lekinator examples. It sends OSC uh, with data. I catch them in my processing script, uh, analyze it, and send via OSC again to Wacky. Um, I also send some control messages to stop and start learning and recording. It makes it uh, way easier to train the model. Um, and um, yeah, I also have some simple ugly tabla synthesizer to play the beat that was already transcripted. It sounds like this. <laughs> okay, so Wake is already trained and let's have a look how it performs. Try again. <laughs> oh, I killed it. Okay, so obviously it's a miserable failure, but why? 
Um, there are two reasons for that. First of all is audio granularity. It happens in uh, several points. Uh, the incoming audio is chopped into 70 milliseconds pieces each and it's a pretty long piece. Um, then it's being sent to processing. Uh, processing itself has no guarantee for real-time um, audio processing. Um, then it's being sent to Wacky and back and analyzed again and then added to the beat. Um, the second reason, um, also very important, is that the model is really simple for such a task. Um, since Tabla has an um, extensive vocabulary, I could use perhaps hidden Markov models to analyze the performance or something else, but I didn't. So it doesn't work right now on an acceptable level. But anyway, if you want to play around with the script, um, there's a link in my GitHub. Download it and give it a try. So, see you later.